guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Shanice Danae. <sighs> well, before we get started, just make sure that you hit that little subscribe button, ring the bell, so that way you don't miss whenever I upload a video. Most importantly, if you want updates on my locks, I highly suggest that you follow me on my Instagram. I answer a lot of questions regarding my locks on there and other stuff, so yeah follow me on that but let's get started I know you guys are very interested about knowing the price for locks because it's just like some mystery so keep watching <laughs> why you click on this video is because you want to know how much locks cost right permanent lock extensions for some reason is some big secret which I don't know why but it kind of is so one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like to share how much they personally paid for their lock extensions because it's kind of disrespectful to the stylist who who had styled their hair mainly because I mean at the end of the day you're not sure if they're going to change their prices and then there's a lot of factors that play into it. So all the prices will be different depending on how many locks you have. So let me break it down to you guys. Um, first of all, if you're thinking about getting permanent lock extensions, I highly suggest that you save at least a thousand to thirteen hundred dollars. And a reason why I say that, and that that's a very high amount but at least you have like a range of how much you're going to be looking at the reason why i say that is because if you're getting permanent lock extensions usually stylists have it broken down by different bundles right so if each lock or each bundle has 10 locks and they charge 70 dollars for 10 locks right and you have a lock count of 103 dollars you're looking at a pretty expensive you know just for the locks itself so it's broken down by that and then it's broken down by so how much they want to charge you for the services and what, what's included into those services. If you're washing your hair and if it includes a style, all of these things play a factor in how much you're going to pay for your locks, right? So for example, my locks were $75. I got 12 inches because I wanted to match the length of my natural hair. So that's one of the reasons why I did that. Now, that is just an estimate that you guys can use, but I wanted to break it down to you, at least from my experience when I went to Making Styles, about how it worked. So, each bundle for Making Styles, they have it broken down that you receive 10 locks per bundle. Now, that all of this plays a big factor in how many locks that you will need for your hair, um, which during your consultation, they, they can't actually figure out okay by looking at your head you're going to have 100 locks now i recommend that whenever you do go to making styles you, you buy a certain amount of a bundle so when you're paying your 50 dollars for your consultation you somewhat know what to expect so when you're getting your consultation done you're taking pictures of well you're after your consultation you're sending pictures of your hair um so that way they can see the thickness of your hair what your hair looks like when it's wet so they can give you an estimate on how many locks or how many bundles you would need after my consultation we just automatically assume that I was going to need a total of 150 locks because of the thickness of my hair granted we didn't use all 150 because even though my hair is super thick my head is very small so because of that my lock count wasn't as high because my head is a little bean head 150 locks that's 15 bundles at $75 okay so that's automatically $1,125, not including the service for the locks, okay? Just so that way you guys can get an understanding about how much that locks, permanent lock extensions cost. It's very expensive. This is definitely a, um, a permanent thing, which is one of the reasons why it's so much. Now, if this is too much money for you, I completely understand. Um, it is expensive, but if it's something that you really want to pursue, no matter if you currently have locks right now, you wanna add lock extensions to your hair, which will be a lot cheaper because they're not interlocking your hair as well. So one of the reasons why the service is, um, now I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna talk about how much the service is, um, to get them installed only because that's broken down a little bit differently if your hair is long if your hair is being interlocked and then if you already have locks and you're adding lock extensions onto your permanent lock extensions if you have shaved sides shaved back shaved top 
whatever you have a little patch of locks on the top of your head obviously the cost is going to be a little bit different so you can kind of estimate about around how much you're going to pay or how much you want to pay based on the amount of bundles that you may need for your hair after your consultation so based on that and based on mine it started out at 1125 and that's just including the bundles now what a lot of people do they buy their bundles out throughout the year and then they pay for their service for me this is something that I wanted to do. I wanted to lock my hair. Um, I'm getting married in April, so for me, the one, so for me, one of the main reasons why I decided to not only lock my hair but um, using the instant lock method, but I also wanted to add extensions because in my head, I just wanted. For one, I wanted to start my hair at a certain length in order for me to style the way that style my hair the way that I can picture myself on my wedding day. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to get 12 inches. Looking back, I wish I would have got maybe eight inches or even 10 inches because my locks are actually anywhere between 14, 16, and 18 inches because my natural hair was already long. Um, so that's something to be mindful of, but honestly, if this is something that you're thinking about, I highly recommend even saving around $1,500 to $2,000, depending on how um, long you want your lock extensions to be. Um, now I'm not going to go in detail exactly how much total I paid for mine, but I hope that was able to give you guys an estimate just based on how many bundles I use. Granted, I only have... Um, I don't have 150 locks and I'll have another video for you guys on how many locks I have right after this. I mean, honestly, I had no bad experiences getting my hair installed um, and it was worth every single penny. Obviously, they always say you get what you pay for. By all means, this is 100% true. You want to pay a cheap price to get your hair done. Then later on down the road, five years, three years, two years down the road, you have to take your hair out because your hair is thinning because your lock your lock count ratio is not or your parts are not as big or as small as they should be based on how your lock should be growing out so that's also something to consider so i highly recommend if you're thinking about getting permanent lock extensions even though it's expensive guys at least you know it's going to be done right do your research read the reviews and teach yourself and so honestly become a pro <laughs> become a pro at locks in general so that way you're making sure that you're making the best decision for you and only you nobody else um i know that there's a lot of um there's a lot of issues issues when it comes to people getting lock extensions but i honestly get confused by that because if they need to repair a lock they use weave most time most times or they'll use their own hair I mean, either way, or they'll cut their locks off and then reattach them. Isn't that still kind of like the same thing? Like you didn't grow your, you grew, you grew them out in the past, but you can put them back on in the future. But as always, guys, please be sure to leave me questions down below because I would love to do a Q&A with you guys. Follow me on my Instagram because that's where I receive most of the questions and I answer in real time. Um, but for the most part, you guys know what I always say. Thank you so much and do say.